Hello, and welcome to Spring Semester 2020. I am Dr. Johansson, your instructor for this course, and this welcome video is to help you navigate Canvas and see how the course is set up a little bit, and then I highly suggest you watch the syllabus video um, to go through that, and also um, information from the syllabus is on your first quiz. So, um, what I want to do first is just talk about how to navigate um, this course on Canvas. So we are right now at the homepage, and you're going to notice every Sunday the homepage will update and it will tell you about what's coming up for that week and remind you about some of um, your due dates. Um, you are responsible for everything I post on Canvas, so whether it's on the homepage, whether it's an announcement, which I haven't set out yet, but that will show up here. Um, all of that stuff is super important. So please, please, please read everything um, to keep yourself up to date. One of the nice features of Canvas is that over here you see all of the things that are upcoming that are due. Um, so it's an easy way to link to that assignment or quiz. Um, and Oh, it's not open yet. That's why you can't see it. Um, and to kind of remind yourself, um, Canvas also has, let me just show you calendar over here on the left-hand side. And if um, classes, if your other instructors put uh, due dates, they all show up on your calendar. So you can see for this class, you have a couple things due Sunday the 26th. Um, lots of things due on Sundays. Sometimes we have Wednesday due dates, but this might help you um, visually plan um, what's going on as well. Um, let's see, I'm going to get out of there. So, general cell biology. Um, I'm in student view, so it, it looks a little bit sometimes different than what you might see, but hopefully you can figure it all out. All right, so be sure you are getting announcements. So you should have received an announcement that said, hi, um, cell biology is open early for spring semester. If you are not getting those announcements, um, I believe I have instructions in the syllabus. Oh, well, I can just show you. Sometimes my brain. Okay, if you go to account, Oh, well, it won't let me do it. I'll show you. You should be able to go to account and navigation. Let's see. Okay. Um, what else? Okay, well, let's just go to modules. I think I'll show you it in the syllabus video. Um, okay, if you ever don't see your list of things, it might be hidden under um, this thing my dad calls the hamburger. I don't know, let's check that. So if you don't see those, just click on those three lines and it will come up. So I organize this class in modules. Um, so the first module, module is the important stuff, syllabus, general course information. So here is the syllabus that you need to read through our lecture schedule that has your due dates and chapter assignments, um, the spring academic calendar for UCD, campus resources, hints for success on an online cell. So this is a compilation of um, feedback I received from students who have taken this course before on how they were successful. Um, You'll see that you have quizzes every week, and most quizzes have short answer questions, and I love to write compare contrast questions. So I highly encourage you to read short answer questions, a guide to accept success, because it explains exactly what I'm looking for in um, compare and contrast. And um, when I go through the syllabus, we'll also talk about making homework groups, but that information is, is here. 
as well as if you're using um, outside resources or references during a homework assignment, for example, how I want you to um, cite information. So here we are at week one. The week one homepage will be up midweek this week just so that um, students are that are um, logging in late don't miss this first welcome video. But you can always click on this and each week has its own homepage that I will rotate but you can always look at, ahead and it tells you kind of what to do this week. Um, tells you that you have a practice quiz and a chapter one quiz due this Sunday or Sunday the 26th depending on um, when you're looking at it you have a practice assignment due you have an introduce yourself um, to do so the home pages are really important for um, helping guide you uh, to the expectations for that week you will also see in that week um, links to, for instance, the practice quiz that you need to do. And here's information about it and um, information about chapters one through four. And then what's most important for you is each chapter will have a set of learning objectives. And what those are, are is basically your study guide. Okay, <clears throat> so chapter one, these are the things I expect you to know and get from chapter one in the appendix. <clears throat> these are, um, this is the information that will be on the quizzes and unit exams. And then I will post um, videos. I'm at the beginning of the semester. Some of them are made by um, Dr. Duncan or, or other things. Um, I didn't feel like the need to redo a bunch of videos. It's mostly review. Um, but then I've also made some videos for you. Again, more learning objectives. So those again are your study guide for both the quizzes, the weekly quizzes, and the unit exams. Um, so you'll also find again links to um, a microscopy video and I make PowerPoints. So the way I lecture is I'll have a PowerPoint up on the screen and I will write on it and you'll hear my voice talking. Um, you can always hit subtitles um, so you can see the words. Um, I think the nice thing about online lectures is that you can pause. Um, you can actually play me at a little bit faster. I've realized I'm a, a little bit of a slow speaker. So I think, um, let's just do this. Uh, let's see if it's here. All my videos are on YouTube. So you can subscribe to my YouTube channel if you want. Um, but I found that if it gets kind of long-winded, um, you're playing the video, play, maybe. So There's the nucleolus. so it doesn't get confusing. So here you can have subtitles, closed captioning, and let's see here in the settings, oh, look at me talk. You can actually go to, I think 1.25 or 1.5. Let's try this one and see what it sounds like. Now, with electron microscopy, you cannot use fluorescence. So these colorations are all what we call false colored. So that's 1.25 and I think you can still understand it. it. Just means you'll get through the video a little faster. Oops. I think 1.5 might be too fast. Let's see. Here's scanning electron microscopy. So we've sliced through the cell so that you're getting a 3D image inside. This is actually a chloroplast, but normally it would be a black and white image. Anyway, so the coloring interesting. You can speed it up so it doesn't take you forever. I do tend to ramble a little bit and I apologize, but um, and yeah, I say so and, and stuff like that. All right, back to, um, and I also get off track, so I need to focus. Okay, so 
Week one, you got a module. Week two, you have a home page. You have your learning objectives. You have a PowerPoint if you want to bring that up to listen to the lectures. Um, and then here's your, your link for your quiz. Um, you can always click on quizzes. They are open Wednesday through Sunday, so you have plenty of time to take them. Um, and once they open up, it will explain what the quiz um, is about, what's, what's um, the type of questions, how many questions, and your time limit. So understand that you always have time limits on quizzes and exams. Um, let's see, I'm just kind of looking at my notes. Videos, links. Um, I guess the last thing I will say on this intro video um, is that there's a lot of information in this class. Okay, so one of the things I want you to understand is that you, I'm not proctoring your quizzes and unit exams. So if you want to have some notes to the side, maybe there's a couple proteins that you just can't quite remember, or sometimes I will tell you have this image of a pathway out, it will help you answer questions on the quiz. That's totally fine, okay? You're not gonna have time to look everything up, so you need to study for your quizzes and exams just like you would for a face-to-face -face class. But, again, I'm not monitoring um, if you're looking at notes, that's fine with me. Um, most importantly, uh, even though this is online, um, I am on campus Mondays and Wednesdays um, this semester I'm teaching virology class online and intro to biotech um, face to face on campus. So I do have office hours. We'll go through that in the syllabus. Um, I'm always on email, except late in the evening. I'm not totally a late night person, um, but I will try to get back to you always within 24 hours. Um, so use me. I'm here to help you succeed in this class. Um, ask questions, ask questions of um, your classmates. Um, come see me. I would love to meet you in person if you can, um, and have a great semester. All right, I will talk with you again soon.